Mystic Fitness community, thank you for joining us today. It's so lovely to be with you. I am here with Amy and Corina. It is pretty chilly, but it's so beautiful. It is so beautiful. I'm so glad that I am required to teach this class outdoors. I really am. I'm so glad. And it makes me uh, just so nourished uh, every time. I wanted to announce that we are still outdoors at 9 a.m. We're going to try to stick with it in October. And we also have this beautiful event coming up with Kat. Uh, it's a sound healing that is on uh, October 18th. It's a Sunday. And um, if you haven't joined us out here uh, on one of those Sunday evenings, uh, it's, it's so beautiful. It's truly, truly healing. So please join Kat, and I'm going to be away, or I would be here as well. Uh, Kat is such a beautiful soul. So uh, let's come into a comfortable place, wherever you are, and uh, invite yourself to settle. Maybe you're lying fully on the ground. Maybe you are sitting on the ground or on a cushion. Start to experience what it's like to be, to be. What is it like to be, to exist, to just be? Don't ask your mind this question. Ask the felt sense within your physical body, in your intuitive sense. And as this physical body lies on the earth, consider experiencing it as part of the earth, made of earth. This being that you are is experiencing embodiment through this physical body made of earth. And consider that your body is also made of water and all the other elements of nature. Notice the liquids throughout your body, maybe in the mouth and then just in the bladder and in the circulation of fluids throughout your veins. Made of the same thing as the 
waterfalls and the rivers and the rain, the mountain streams. This heat, this heat in the body, the temperature, how it needs to be exact, you know, if it's too cold or too hot. In the body, the body's out of balance. Notice this breath, this air. This flow of oxygen in exchange with all of the plant life through our breath. In this space that you are same space that the birds fly within. The space inside and outside. And we take a deep in breath together. And let it go. And slowly as you can, start to move the body. Asking it, ask the body itself, ask it, what is it like to do? What is it like to, how does it like to move right now? And you might simply stretch or rock side to side or just wiggle the fingers and the toes. Making your way over to a seated position, you might roll over to your side to make it a little bit less intense on the back. Arriving, hands together, they rub together, palms. And feel your hands, feel your hands. the heat created. What is it like to have hands? Just feel your hands. And place those hands on your heart. Maybe one over the belly. Bow to this body, this body made of earth. Let's open our practice together with this sound of Om. First, a cleansing breath. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Open your eyes and make your, circle your wrists around a couple of times in each direction.
Plant your hands behind you and circle each ankle around in each direction. And then make your way to your table pose. And start to arch and curl the spine. And start to explore the space around the spine so that you're feeling each vertebra at a time and you're kind of just moving the body, moving the spine, arching and curling, and maybe also a rocking of the tailbone side to side, and an alternation between the two. As you separate your knees a little bit wider, rock your tailbone over to the left and back. Come back to the left and forward. And then rock the tailbone over to the right and back. Exploring the inner hips here, the, the uh, lower more lowermost chakras energy centers and also being aware of your kidneys and the lower back letting all these organs be part of the experience of movement since we carry a, a lot in these organs yourself into a child pose that's comfortable to you. So this might mean your knees remain separated or it might mean that they come underneath your belly so that it's more comfortable. So explore both. And also become aware of the shoulders and the armpits area and where the shoulders are stretching and try not to overextend in the shoulders try not to sink into your shoulder joints and committing to this gentleness and awareness of what's involved with movement in the body so that the body is happy we want that body to be happy what makes it happy makes it nurtured and taken care of. It's like a different way of being with the body than we've been taught throughout our lives that we gotta kind of just push this body to do what it needs to do no matter what. Not kind. And slowly make your way back into a table pose. Take your time to curl your toes under and expand your hips up and back into a downward dog. And as you start to explore the length of your calf muscles and the sensations in the feet, pedaling, rocking hips side to side. 
take a deep in breath and let it all out. Maybe shifting your weight back and forth to become acquainted with the fire element a little bit more. Starting to build some heat around the core. While at the same time moving through the shoulders a little and allowing the shoulders and the arms to incorporate in the movement. Finally, make your way into a forward fold and arrive there either by walking the hands back a little and the feet forward or by walking the feet all the way forward. And continue with some motion in your forward folds. And once again, get acquainted with the ground below your feet. I keep trying to hold on to these boots because they keep my feet warm, but I think I'm gonna take them off so I can really feel the earth under my feet. Burr, cold grass. I'll get used to it. Earth sensation below the feet, a nice forward fold. Lift and separate the toes and really allow the, each foot to kind of drink in this earth mother below the feet. Kiss the earth with your feet. Kiss the earth with your feet. Titnak Khan says that. Slowly rise now, a little bit at a time, taking care of your lower back. And take some motions throughout the shoulders. Expand arms overhead with a deep in breath. Look up, grow tall. On the exhale, release palms to heart space. Do that a few more times, all the way up and back down to your heart space again bend your knees hinge from the hips for a forward fold a halfway lift inhale anchor hands on shins exhale place the palms on the ground and walk the feet back to find a plank pose Allow the body to activate against the ground, pressing the floor away. Take the shoelace side of the right foot and place it on the ground. So flip the toe and rock each heel to each side. Right and left, the right heel, right and left. Curl toes under and do it again on the other leg. So rocking left heel to the left and to the right. All the while you're strengthening your core. Do you like how I snuck that in there? Press the floor away. Keep your gaze down in breath. On the out breath, lower the knees and then lower the chest. The elbows point directly back and kind of hug in towards the midline. Lengthen your legs all the way back. Activate each shoelace side of each foot into the earth. Then lift your heart, drawing the sternum forward and up, releasing the shoulders down the back. And then expand the arms sideways and feel that expansiveness. Kind of just like get large. 
like you're flying. Press the hand alongside the chest. Lift yourself up and curl your toes under to make it back to downward facing dog. And just really delight in these opposite motions. So we opened the heart and now we're going in the opposite direction, finding that kind of a forward folding. Take your right leg and reach it up towards the sky for an in-breath. On the out breath, bend the knee to dial the hip open a little. Activate your right hand more into the earth. Elongate the leg back, square the hips, inhale. On the exhale, bring the knee towards the right elbow. Maybe it kisses the right elbow. Inhale, lengthen it back. On the exhale, knee to the right elbow, and the foot steps kind of behind the, the right wrist and more to the right of it. Toes are facing outwards. Keep your left fingers tips tented on the ground as you twist to your right. Take a breath in. On the breath out, thread it kind of down a bit, and open up again three more times. Two more. Last time. And release the hand. Take your time to toe heel that right foot towards the left. Keeping the feet hip distance apart, rise up into a crescent lunge. Bend the back knee to tuck the pelvis under. Keep your right hand at your hip as you expand your left arm all the way up. Maybe you look up without losing balance. Now take it into a side bend to the right. And come back to center. Do it two more times. And back to center. Last time. And back to center. Bring your hands to your hips. Shift your weight into the front leg. And slowly drag the back foot forward. And if you can, lift the knee up slowly towards the chest and cross your left ankle up and over. We don't have to go anywhere here, just working on balance and feeling that earth under the right foot. If you feel moved to do so, you might kind of extend arms forward and hips back and forth. Five times in. And out. Four more. Activate that left ankle really strongly against the right thigh to keep the connection. Two more. Good. We're going to re-step back into a crescent. Nice and slow, landing the foot, hip distance apart. And we'll open up into a warrior two. As you dial that back heel down, open yourself up to the side. 
and expand those arms apart. See how the chest opens when you do that? But then notice how it's very possible to stick your butt back and kind of lose your neutral spine and as much as you can maintain this elongation of the tailbone down. And find some precious kind of sensation throughout the neck. Good light. Relax your shoulders. Relax your shoulders a little more. Yes. Take your reverse warrior. Deep in breath. On the out breath, return back to center. Come to a side angle. And continue to feel out your side body. Your feet are still kissing the earth. They're active. They're firm. They feel sturdy and safe and connected. And your torso is exploring itself by feeling the side body. What is it like to practice yoga while being? As opposed to doing yoga, can you be yoga? Can you be yoga? Finally, hold your side angle. Find your breath, explore the sensations within your torso. Notice if looking down or looking up makes a difference. I have this beautiful sunshine right there in my face. And I'm really, really just feeling the warmth of the heat. What can you notice in this moment? That's life. Wonderful. Bring your right fingertips to your right shin and it lengthen the leg for triangle. See if the body wants to go a little lower or higher. Notice if that left arm is getting a little stiff. Maybe it wants to circle around. What does it want to do? What is it like to wake up in the morning and kind of ask your body, what do you want to do today? What do you want to do right now? versus just this automatic way of living. At one point, release yourself back down into a runner lunge. Toe heel your right foot towards the right a little so that you find the hip distance apart. Allow the back knee to drop to the ground and then start to shift forward and back elongating the right leg. Ooh, Siobhan found some money. Money's raining down. What is it like to kind of bend the knee and then walk the hands over towards the left for a change and kind of see what that, what sensation this gives you. And then walking the hands and towards the right. And same with elongating the leg. What is it like to kind of come into a little bit of a twist? side to side, heel active, toes towards shin.
Corina's like, forget the mat. <laughs> All together. Yeah. And come back towards the center. And make your way back to a plank pose. You might toe heel the right foot to the right. And then step it back. That feels good to me. Reposition your hands and feet in a plank. And really start to now explore the strength of your core. Your legs are super engaged and so is your glutes muscles. There is this opportunity to press the floor away, but without hurting your wrists. You can activate the fingertips into the ground like palming a basketball a little bit. And start to feel the shaking that's beginning at the arms and maybe throughout the rest of the body. Fire. Heat building internally. One more breath. Release your knees, draw the chest forward. And you can either lower halfway and then open up into an upward facing dog. Or you can lower halfway then all the way and find the baby cobra. I've decided that I like baby cobra a lot more than downward than upward dog for my own body, but you can kind of explore yourself and see what feels good. Going straight back to downward facing dog. And now reevaluate, kind of not evaluating, that's not the right word. Re checking in, kind of checking in. Left leg rises up towards the sky. The knee bends, the hip dials open. The leg elongates, the hips square. And then the knee comes towards the left elbow as you shift forward. Inhale, nice and long back. Exhale, knee towards the left elbow. And we step that foot to the side. And take it into that twist with the in-breath. Maybe you come up onto your fingertips on the right side. This allows you to not over collapse in your right shoulder and wrist. And thread a little. And again, three more times. Maybe make a fist with the right hand too, that can help. One more in breath. With the out breath, toe heel that left foot. And make your way into a crescent. As you rise up, bend the back knee, tuck pelvis under. And regain access to your limbs and Notice if the arms need anything or the wrists need anything. And expand that right arm all the way up with the in-breath. And with the out-breath, a side bend to the left. And again, in and out. In. And out. Return back to the center. Both hands come to your hips. And you're going to shift that weight into the left leg. Activate all corners of that left foot into the ground. 
and slowly drag the right foot all the way forward. Knee lifts and leg crosses over. Notice how I'm automatically micro bending the left knee and really feeling out my left glutes to hold this balance. And either staying here the entire time or drawing the hips back with a thin breath and out breath, press forward. In. And out. Three more. If I'm about to fall, then I activate that right ankle into the leg more. Two. And one. Come back to the center and walk that foot back to land in your crescent again. Find your warrior two to the other side. As the arms expand open, lift your shoulders all the way up and shrug them back down. Do that again. Now take your time to internally rotate the shoulders and the forearms and the wrists forward and then all the way back externally rotate. And do that three more times. Get into those shoulders. Last time. Now reverse your warrior with the in-breath. Feel your feet super grounded, anchored, and happy with the earth as you start to explore the torso and the side body with some motions that are fluid like water. Finally, holding your side angle and beginning to activate some fire here in your core, in your legs, while at the same time being mindful of those sweet shoulders, sweet shoulders of yours and your jaw and your neck. They don't need to take some of that weight. It's not necessary. The strength can be felt right there in your core. Feet are active in the ground, stretching the mat apart, kissing the earth. Taking it to your triangle pose as you extend your left leg, fingertips land onto the shin. Down a little more or higher. Upper arm can circulate. We return back to a runner lunge, coming to hip distance apart. Release the back knee and shift back and forth.
either hold the extension or the bend to walk your hands over to the right and then to the left. And slowly make your way back to a plank. I like to toe heel my left foot towards the left. Place both hands under the shoulders. Curl the back toes under. And then step the left foot back. Hold your plank for five breaths. And rather than enduring this posture, I encourage you and I invite you to actually start to luxuriate in it and try to find the pleasure in it. I know that sounds kind of weird, but it's possible. Just start to feel your own core center, this kind of fire kind of building up, how your arms are getting stronger as you bend your elbows and feel out the muscles around them. The little shaking that's happening is like so lovely. It's a sign of strengthening. And then lower down onto your forearms to get more of that delight. So you're tucking the tailbone under and drawing the chest forward. There's activity in that core center. The neck is loosening up by just letting itself be soft. Two more breaths. Lower the body down and lift your chest open, expanding your arms sideways, this time lifting your legs too. Now you're really flying. As you lower your chest down and make a pillow for your forehead with your left arm, bend your right knee for a quad stretch. Drawing the knee back a little more and hugging the knee in towards the center a little more. Release and take it to the other side. Release the leg. Find your way into a sphinx pose, placing your elbows under your shoulder, drawing the chest forward and up. Feel the elongation in the lowermost belly up. From sphinx, make your way into skydiver position. So those arms go sideways into goal post and the knees bent if it feels comfortable on your lower back. The toes or the ankles are flexed. And if it feels okay, maybe you squeeze those glutes muscles a little more and lift the knees a little higher. Feel that strength all running all around your back. And if it's appropriate for your body, grab a hold of your ankles and press your ankles back so that can lift your chest more. Squeeze your butt too so that you don't lose the 
support of your hips and your lower back. Slowly release. Rock those hips side to side. And take your right knee to the side for a half frog. And here, let your head rest however it wants to rest. Maybe it rests on top of an arm. Maybe it rests on the ground or on a block. And see if you can uh, let go, like fully into the ground without holding on to anything. Your physical body is made of earth. The earth is your body. See if you can kind of feel that on a visceral level. Not with the thinking mind. The thinking mind will tell you, what? What are you talking about? Just forget about that. Just feel it on a visceral level. It's a different kind of knowing. Slowly make your way to the other side. I'm lucky here I get to smell the earth. And smell nature, the leaves, the soil. And join this body, join it with its larger body, its mother. Can you fall more into it? Just fall. Let go. Make your way slowly back onto your bellies. And lift yourself upwards. 
into a seated position. Bring the soles of the feet together into Baddha Konasana. And then rock your tailbone like forward and back and to the side, side to side. And if it feels appropriate for you, rather than staying up straight, you might bow forward. And from here, take it into your pigeon pose. You might come into a double pigeon on the right side. You might lie down and cross your right ankle on top of your left thigh and pull the knee to the chest. Or take it into a prone pigeon on the right side. And notice how I don't come into it right away, very quickly right away. I just kind of feel it out. Take a few more breaths here. And when you feel ready to switch to the other side, do it. Some of us might not feel ready. Right? Some of us might want to be here for 10 minutes. But we don't have time, sorry. I wish time didn't exist, but it does. In this realm, it exists. In this plane, it exists. And we are bound by it, unfortunately. But it doesn't have to imprison us. We can find the freedom within the structures set forth. If you haven't transitioned yet, it might be a good time to do so.
And make your way slowly out of the pose onto your backs. Take any motions that are needed on your back. I like to at least take a quick reclining twist. before finally settling down. But there might be another movement that feels more appropriate for your body. Check it out. Check out what's moving, what needs to move. Fall back. Into being. And keep falling, falling, falling back. Held by the space. Take the birds. Let your inner being fly. Shivaya Gurave Sachitananda Murtaye Nishprapanshaya Shantaye Take a deep in breath together. Sigh it out. Mm. 
either remain reclined for the close of our practice or roll over onto your side. Resting there for a couple of moments before rising to seated. your way into this straight up spine motion if you're seated feel your base the ground feel the dignity of that upright motion hands at the heart joint at the heart and we bow with gratitude to this practice and the mystery out of which all things arise. Closing with the sound of home, a deep in breath. Let it go. Inhale. Oh. Thank you for allowing me to teach you today. The great spirit within me bows to the great spirit within you. Namaste.